All right, folks, here's uh, three problems. It's actually one problem, but I just made three, three different times. you got to solve three different things, because I want you to see what happens to this object over and over again after time passes. Uh, so a quarter is thrown up at 20 meters per second. Where is it two seconds later? Where is it three seconds later? And where is it six se seconds later? So let's do each one real quick. Um, first off, this is a gravity problem, because you threw something. So acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Uh, we know the initial velocity is going to be, uh, what is it, 20 meters per second positive, because they threw it up. And uh, we know time is equal to two seconds, and they want to know where is the object, position-wise, like where is it displacement-wise, where is it from where it started. Remember, this is technically position uh, change. This is uh, displacement, not the distance. Uh, so the only equation for that is this one right here. It's number three. Uh, delta x is equal to v o times t plus one half a t squared. It's the only one that works. So let's go ahead and solve it. Um, we're looking for this, which is nice. It's already solved for it. Initial velocity is 20 times uh, 2, that's the time, plus one half a negative 9.8 times 2 squared. Don't forget that squared. It's times squared. All right, so this is right here 40. Uh, plus, uh, and then let's do this on the side real quick. Let's get a calculator. And let's first, uh, you, you should always uh, square that thing first. So that's a 4. 2 squared is 4. Uh, you could do it on the calculator if you're not sure. And then so we got the 4. And then uh, times, so always square that first. A lot of students have a bad habit of multiplying this, times this, times that, then squaring. Don't do that. We're not squaring all this. We're only squaring this time. So square that first. So that's a 4 times negative 9.8 times, uh, I'm just going to put 9.8 not deal with negatives, uh, times 0.5 is equal to 19.6. But remember, that's negative because there's a negative there. So this whole chunk is negative. So it's technically 40 minus 19.6 is equal to delta x. And then, of course, if we take uh, 40 and minus uh, 19.6, we get 20.4, and this is positive delta x. So this thing is above, this thing is above where they're at. So it starts here, and they threw it up, and it is, uh, it is 20.4 meters high at this point, two seconds later. So it's still going, it might still be going up or down. We don't know the answer to that because we don't know what the final speed is right now, if it's negative or positive. Uh, it may be on its way back down. It may be on its way back up. Uh, I know it's going to be really close to its highest point because uh, it's going to be close to a speed of zero at this point after two seconds just by, you know, experience. But let's do the next one. So that's, uh, so actually let me write off the side right here. Uh, 20.4 meters is the answer. And then let's erase. I didn't need to erase that. Actually, let me... I'm just going to erase this part. We can uh, redo this. I erased part of my question. All right. <laughs> um, then uh, let's go delta x is equal to still 20 meters per second. But now we're talking three seconds later for the second part, right? Plus one half a negative 9.8 times 3 squared. Uh, so let's do that end part. 3 squared is 9. So 9 times uh, 9.8 times 0.5. That's a half. 44.1. So it's negative 44.1. And over here, it's uh, 40... No, it's 60, right? So 60 is equal to... Uh, delta x. So then we got um, 60 minus 44.1. So clear 60 minus 44.1 is equal to 15.9. And that's positive. So at this point, so we know after two seconds, the distance is. 20.4 but after three seconds it's obviously coming back down because now it's even closer and it was heading up so the distance it's remember more time has passed by so more time has passed by so it's definitely on its way back down at this point um, because now 
it's only 15 meters high or 15.9 meters high. All right, so let's write that in here, 15.9 meters high. And then let's erase that and let's do the last one. And the last one is six seconds later. I did that on purpose because I wanted to show you uh, where it might be. Where would it be six seconds if you waited? If you could wait six seconds, where would it be? That's probably a good way to put it. Let's do this. Delta X is equal to initial speed was 20. They threw it up at 20. You wait six seconds. And six seconds squared. Six times six is 36, right? So let's do the 36 times 9.8 times 0.5. That's the half part. So I, I just worked it this way. Remember, this is negative. Negative 176. Point four, um, and then this side right here is 20 times 6 which is 120 is equal to delta x and so the answer is going to be negative 120 minus this that's going to be negative what is that 56.4 meters so it went you threw it up right here and after after two seconds, it's uh, this high. After three seconds, if you wait long enough, it's only this high. So it's obviously kind of falling back down because it's only 15.9 meters high. But if you wait a whole six seconds from when you threw it up, it must have went up, down, and came past where you went. If it's possible, which is possible, you could be standing on a cliff or something and threw it up and it came back down. Because at this point, it is negative. It is below you, negative 56.4 meters if you wait long enough that would what happen if it's possible obviously uh, if there if there's no way for it to be below you that that obviously couldn't happen but the physics equation doesn't know that it's just saying hey if you throw something up at 20 meters per second and you wait six seconds it will be at that position you know assuming that there's not some ground underneath you like maybe you're on a cliff or something so here's a cliff and you kind of just threw it up and you wait six seconds it will be here which is negative 59.4 meters below where you're at. And that's what that means there. Okay? So try some practice problems on that one.